Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share what's happening right now in this Sacramento, California housing market. Some big changes happening, especially compared to just one year ago. So in today's video, I'm going to touch on what's happening right now regarding new listings, housing inventory, pending home sales, and of course, um, home prices as well, and many other metrics in today's video. So you guys can get an idea about what's happening in my market where I live and work as a real estate agent. So let's go ahead and dive right in uh, because this is one of the areas in which they um, have experienced a giant surge of people uh, moving here and of course a lot of home buying demand over the past couple of years. However, there has been some changes from one year ago here. So let's first talk about new listings. And this, by the way, is according to Redfin's uh, data center. It's a public website if you guys wanna follow along in uh, today's video here. So they actually looked at the metro area of Sacramento. So according to Redfin, for the Forks ended August 6th this year, new listings fell by 23.5% compared to 12 months ago. This is a common problem we're seeing in Sacramento and frankly across the whole US as well because every single metro, for example, that Redfin tracks, they actually track uh, 50 of the most populous metros every single one of those metros is down in the number of new listings compared to 12 months ago. And that's of course due to the fact that a lot of people have rates well below uh, current rates right now of around 7%. A lot of people have rates of less than four and 5%. So people are locked in. Something else I noticed as well, when comparing this year to 2022, which is this black line right here, new listings really fell off a cliff once we hit May. Whereas this year, new listings have been relatively flat over the past several months now. And in fact, last week, we saw a small increase compared to the previous week. Okay, that's the number of new listings, the number of new houses being listed for sale. Let's have a look at um, housing inventory or the total number of houses actually for sale in the Sacramento area. So uh, active listings are down by 38.57% from one year ago around 3,700 houses for sale. At this time uh, in 2022, there was around uh, 6,000 homes for sale. So when you actually exclude 2021, you really can see the big difference uh, this year compared to last year. Uh, last year, inventory levels were absolutely skyrocketing because a lot of people were deciding not to buy a house and that was actually increasing inventory levels even though new listings were down compared to one year ago. So because we saw a lack of home buying demand, we saw fewer houses being sold, and also it was taking longer for houses to sell. And that's why active listings increased during the spring and summer months last year, which is uh, a common trend we saw on a national level as well. Uh, but this year, inventory levels are increasing uh, ever since really April this year. But at 3,677, this is actually less than to start the year when we had 3,912. Um, this is, I just laugh because it's such a big difference compared to 2022 because at this time in 2022, again, around 6,000 homes for sale to start the year, there was only 2,444. In other words, inventory increased a whopping 146% uh, year to date at this time last year, whereas this year we're actually down uh, year to date. And that, in my personal opinion, is one of the main reasons why I believe we're not gonna see a giant decrease in home prices in the second half of this year. Not to say that our housing market in Sacramento is without its challenges though, because we have a lack of housing affordability. And of course, uh, we have elevated mortgage rates as well. Uh, at above 7% at the time of filming this video, which is in uh, the early parts of August this year. Okay, let's change gears uh, slightly here and talk about uh, pending home sales, which is a measure of contracts being signed between buyers and sellers in the Sacramento housing market. So pending home sales are down 15.8% year over year. Also, they're down compared to 2021 as well which is this orange line above right here. They're also well below 2021's levels uh, as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the rest of the year looks like regarding this right here, because of course, uh, pending home sale is a measure of a contract being signed between a buyer and seller. And this is a forward looking indicator of around one to two months of close home sales. So today's pending home sales will be uh, close home sales 
uh, if, unless the buyer backs out in about one or two months. And because the level of pendings have been relatively flat for quite some time there, uh, this is gonna be causing uh, close home sales to remain flat potentially as well here in the next couple of months. In contrast, pendings decreased greatly in May and June last year, and they also decreased in September through the remaining of the year. Okay, let's change gears uh, slightly here and talk about the share of price drops in Sacramento according to altosresearch.com. So for the uh, seven days ended August 4th, according to them, the share price drops was 25%. This means that every one, every four houses for sale right now have already reduced their asking prices. Uh, at 25% right now, this is still below levels over the past couple of years, but still well below uh, pre-pandemic levels here. So 25% right now, compare that to one year ago at 29%, and also compare that to 27% in 2020. So the share price drops right now is roughly on par with 2020 as well as 2021. When looking at uh, pre-COVID levels though, back in August 2019, the share was 36%. And in mid-August of 2018, the share was about 40%. So even though the share right now is roughly on par with the past couple of years, it's still well below pre-pandemic levels. Okay, let's talk about home prices in Sacramento according to Redfin here because this is pretty wild here. So the median sold price for the four weeks ended uh, August 6th this year was 587,000, slightly above last year's levels because back at this time in 2022, the median sold price was $585,000. So take a look at this because this is pretty crazy as well because at uh, $587,000 right now, to start the year, we're at $511,000. This means that the median sold price in Sacramento, California increased a whopping 15% year to date. Now what's wild about this is that on a national level, uh, when looking at home sold prices, uh, prices are up by about 9% year to date, whereas in Sacramento, we're up by about 15%. Something else you guys should be aware of though is that home prices are still increasing though. So look at this, home prices have been increasing for the past three weeks in a row, whereas last year, uh, prices peaked in more or less May at 614,000 and then decreased for the remainder of the year. That is a seasonal decrease in prices but we're not seeing that just yet in the Sacramento real estate market. All right, let's change gears again and talk about how fast or how slow houses are selling in Sacramento. And that's this right here, days in the market. So days in the market right now, it's taking about 14 days to sell a house, much less than the, what was this, 49 days, almost 49 days that we saw uh, in more or less uh, January and February this year, and has decreased greatly to uh, 13.7 days, or more or less 14 days on average to sell a house. Uh, this again is a measure of the amount of time it takes to sell a house. In other words, when you list your home for sale until you accept an offer from home buyer, that's days on the market. This also means on average that homes are selling faster uh, right now compared to 2022, uh, selling for about three days faster than last year because days in the market one year ago was around 17 days. And lastly, let's have a look at the average sale price to final list price ratio. The ratio right now is uh, 101%, meaning on average for the house that sold over the previous four weeks, houses on average sold for about 1% over the seller's final list price. At this time last year, houses were selling on average for the seller's final list price. Comparing this to 2021 though, <laughs> this is crazy because in 2021, which was just an absolutely insane market, uh, but in August of 2021, houses on average were selling for just less than 4% over the seller's final list price. And lastly, one more thing I do wanna mention is when you're comparing uh, this year to last year, the ratio was dropping greatly once we hit uh, May and June last year. Whereas this year, we are seeing a seasonal decrease, but not the same uh, decrease, or not the same pace uh, of a decrease we saw in 2022. And of course, the reason why we're seeing the uh, not the sharp decrease we saw last year 
is because uh, last year inventory levels were obviously skyrocketing and of course average mortgage rates more or less doubled in the span of about eight months, which absolutely taint our housing market in the second half of 2022. But what's your biggest takeaways from today's video? Also, do you guys wanna see more videos regarding the Sacramento uh, real estate market? Please leave a comment below. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I appreciate you and we'll see you on the next video.